Okay, so still working on the bear. I'm finding out a better way to add the dark area here. Now, this bear is uh, highly detailed, so I've gone in with colored pencil on the whole thing so far. And I tried adding some, these are called pan pastels. I tried adding some pan pastels to the dark area. In the photograph that I'm drawing it from, <clears throat> This area down in through here is going to be very dark. So to be able to have that come out without having to spend too much time, I found that being able to add, and I'm just using just a little bit here because I was trying it as an experiment, seems to work. Add a little bit of this brown, a little bit of the black, so it's nice and dark. Now, pan pastels are great on pastel mat, uh, and I've started using them on drafting films to help with areas that are very solid and uh, large. I wouldn't use this on a smaller space, but this is going to be a large amount of dark space. So let's just say I'm going to end there, and you can still add the highlights of hair with a little ceramic utility knife so you can see it still scrapes it off to be able to see some of the hairs that I'm adding here in the shadow part so it's not just gonna be a solid color it's going to also show the, uh, the strokes I put in with the ceramic knife and also if I wanted to use my uh, Tombow mono eraser. I can do that as well with this pastel, pan pastel. I wanted to add a few highlights in there and still, still taking off the color here, as you can see. So that is what I'm going to try to do uh, throughout the darker parts here. And since I'm right handed, I'm working from left to right so I don't drag my hand over. The darker parts, especially with the pan pastel on them, definitely a smarter thing to do. And I'll continue on with that.